the story about the all-female Kurdish unit that takes on ISIS, several different reporters who've been in the field, who've gone to the border between Syria and Iraq, you can tell from the gate that it's not a very big border as far as the gate going through and in and out, but they're both guarded on both sides, one with the Syria and then, of course, on the other side being the Iraq side, but now it's under the control of the Kurdish militia and the very people that are really taking command of this area that is under control by the Kurdish military are the women. Now, the unique story about why women on the front lines, why they are such a, well, they're just such a treasure right now because they're the actual reason that it's under control because ISIS does not want to get shot or killed by women according to the Islamic faith. This is why when people understand the Islamic faith, they understand that while women who are subdued, they can no longer have the freedoms they have. But in, on this side of it, the Kurdish militia, which made up of many women, 30% of women, are controlling the region because of the women. So what this partnership, the coalition between Iraqi, Arab, and Kurdish people, which they were concerned about the Kampani area, which is, I believe, an area which is very strategically located for to maintain that control. And because of these women, if you would really get into these reports, and I, I highly suggest people understand the role that women play when fighting ISIS and why armed women, why it's so significant that women worldwide, you, you know, in the United States, the more armed, the more trained they are, the more prepared they, uh, they handle, they become the assets on the field. They become um, the very reason to hold off ISIS. And that has been the case. I've talked to um, one person who is a high-ranking U.S. Navy SEAL. He agrees. Now, this is the area that's controlled by ISIS. ISIS controls that black area. So again, this is the Kobani area. This is just a, a, just a snapshot of what has happened in this region. Now, all people sit there and have said over and over through these reports that somehow they can't get this under control, but it's just another example how the Kurdish militia has proven that to, not to be the case when women are significantly playing a role when it comes to defeating ISIS.